once was an island Once I got here, I had maybe 500 euros, um, but I was planning on staying here for eight months, so obviously that wasn't going to cut it. <laughs> it's like a couple of train rides later and you're broke. A spell was upon her, her body I saw all the street musicians and I could play some chords and I'd been composing a couple of songs, so I I went to the subways and I started playing really shy at first, you know, like looking at the ground, like, hmm, this is so awkward. But after a while, my confidence grew and I realized there's nothing to lose and why be shy when you can just be open and enjoy it. And as soon as you start enjoying it, the people around you start enjoying it, you start making a bit more money, a bit more connections. Um, and I realized that that is what I want to do. I want to be a street musician because it's it's the one time that you bring a whole bunch of random people who are on their way to this and coming back from that and and you're like this little interim in their in their busy day they get a fright they think whoa what is this and then and then a lot of them come up to you afterwards and say i was having such a shit day and then and i was in such a hurry and i was fucking confused and frazzled and freaking out and then i saw you and everything just felt better again you know and then once you get all of these kind of comments you feel like obligated like fuck if I don't go out there and play tonight I'm not gonna make someone's night or life or year or mood or whatever so it's like my social obligation to busk actually I play in this park every Sunday and it's got a very big history because this is also where the wall used to be so it's Mawa Park which means wall, wall park and um, friends who were here 10 years ago for instance um, said it was the most crazy very like uncontrolled creative space now it's slightly more touristic but it's still always kept that that essence of being of being um, very very creative but yeah, so today the, the police, they stop me. Um, and sometimes they do, but um, the most important thing about the city is to keep that, that crazy um, kind of abstract alternative culture and art alive because that is what makes the city so unique. And, and by, by doing small things like this, they all add up and, and it kills the culture and it turns the city into something way too regimented and way too restricted. And, it, it can't be like that. Because of its history, it's gone from something very oppressive to a complete 180 degree shift um, where it, the people run the city and they make the decisions and they can, and when they riot, they, they riot. When they have a problem with something, 5,000 people gather and, and say, fuck the police and, and there's a real riot, you know, and things get done about that because the city is, is for the people, it's run by the people. I want my music to, to um, reach more ears. From there, I want to be able to be an advocate for, for things that I believe in, you know, and try to make a, a difference in the world, as naive as that may sound from a, a little 20-year-old um, <laughs> who's barefoot playing on the street. Um, it's something that's very important to me, and I feel as though um, so everybody needs someone to, to tell them hey, we can do this together, you know, it's something that we can do something about and I really hope that I could be that person in a, in a way. Thank you.